Here we go. 285 pound Division II matchup. St. Paris Graham local. Walls, a junior, a two time placer. There's Hawkins of Millersburg, West Holmes. Also the home of the Fighting Amish Colt Spawn Cellar and Clint Spawn Cellar. Same half bracket as Johnny Hiles with a big quarterfinal victory over John Hiles of Columbus St. Francis de Sales. Hiles will be uh, attending Ohio State, the Ohio State University next year. Wallace comes back to St. Paris Grand Local another year. Coming back for no doubt another loaded team. And it was Jeff Jordan. These two most likely met at the Top Gun. The outcome unknown, unbeknownst to myself. Division one's getting some scoring done. Walls looking for the scoring edge of the mat. Hawkins will start at the second period in the down position. Hawkins out right away. one nothing lead over Walls of St. Paris Graham Local. Graham had six finalists. Champion at 112, David Taylor, number one guy in the country. Champion at 119, Zach Nyberg. Champion at 125, Tucker Armstrong. Champion at 145, Ben Jordan. Runner-up and Kobe Boyd, 152. Walls trying to make it their fifth championship today. Would be a record in Division Two. The team race. St. Paris Graham, 221.5 points. Shattering the Division II record that they set last year. Oak Harbor with 81. Wolf Jesuit 73.5. And Hunting Valley University School 69. And running out of top five is Sandusky Perkins. 55 points, but they will climb, but not above Hunting Valley University School. Of course, Division I, the mainstay. St. Edward. 142 points. Mass and Perry, 90 points in your runner up. Westerville North, 66. Back to Walls, Hawkins. Still 1 0 Hawkins. Walls, and on a shot, a little hustle there. Edge of the man is Walls going to finish. Great motion by Walls. Doesn't move quite like a heavyweight. Excellent. He's going to get the two on the edge of the man. Are they going to give it to him? Are they going to give it to him? They say two. Cooper Walls is going to fall on that one for the Mason heavyweight. Walls chooses neutral. 
Coach Jordan has a dispute. Thirty-nine seconds remains. A reminder, following these matches, we need to have the one eighty-nine to fifteen and two eighty-five place winners in the staging area. The final two weight class of the boards will be handled me. following these matches. And fans, please see around here the team awards. Apparently now the score is one to nothing on the board. Which I could have swore they gave Walls two points. Maybe they took it away. Still on top. It's like a stall call situation. Oh, the locking hands call. We're going to discuss reaction time, the Ohio officials are. Uh, injury time, I don't know. I'm pretty unclear as to what's going on in this match. Uh, there's no locking hands call. Uh, there was two on the edge, now there's not. Um, fairly unclear here, so hopefully the uh, head official gets gets back on track here. Seems to be struggling a little bit. Apparently not locking hands. Which is odd to me. One point escape, walls, 1-1. One, one. Apparently the uh, assistant official seems to be helping the uh, head official out to make the right calls. We'll see here. Apparently Walls just figured out that none of the points that they gave and took away were not on the board. Hawkins looks for a shot. Walls. Well, I guess we're back to the center. Walls and then a beautiful shot. Cracked down. Is he going to finish this? Hawkins has his hand, Walls, Hawkins, Walls is pretty tough from here, don't count him out, they had a push up Walls too, Hawkins looks like he may be in the driver's seat, there's 20 seconds remaining, Walls has broken flat completely, he's got the cross arm, he's got to watch out for near falls, Hawkins looks like he might bring the uh, West Holmes Knights another state title. Illegal hold now. Five seconds remain. Walls gets out. We're going to overtime. <laughs> Jeff Jordan's guys know how to hustle. Maybe he'll get out here. We'll see. Maybe not. Hawkins looks like he's going to bring the Knights home another title with the takedown at the end. So the West Holmes Knights get their fourth school state champion in history. 